quite like this. Well, you know, Grafton was better plan. Gra well, Grafton, Grafton yeah. shortened up. Some Grafton made more of their baby. Grafton made. We'll get to get Grafton because some yeah. good stories about Grafton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what was the um? This is Holden. We're still at Holden. Yeah. This. And um, we're, we're not talking about prices right now because it was three years ago. Pardon? Oh, just the, the cost. Yeah, it was I just, think it was around thirty. I think, think yeah. That was three years yeah. ago. Before. Right. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, this was the biggest facility we saw. Okay, that's helpful. Okay. Um, hmm. Next. Actually, I think it's bigger than the whole one. Okay. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's deceiving it's because of the okay. stories. But, okay. But then, we can go back one. The machine, right. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so let's go over one. Flamingo Nets. Okay, that's another picture of another crane. Okay, next. And then is that a, is that a two ton or a twelve ton? Two ton. Two ton. Two, two ton. Biggest in law was five, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. The biggest, yeah. the typical one we put in maintenance is a five ton. Yeah. This is that picture of the garage, overhead doors. Next. And that one has the crane and right next crane, yeah. mezzanine above. That's all can be all used for storage. But there's no way to get anything onto that mezzanine, if you would, is to, with a four truck. They got a few opening. You can see one right there. They got, I think it's one further down. So you you say the only way to do it is with a fork truck. Yeah, they yes. got one. Yeah, the crane doesn't go over there. Jim, what's on the walls? What's the wall surface? Uh, interior surface. That's like a. It's the interior. It's the inside of the the interior side of the metal panel. So it's a metal panel sandwich of two sheets of metal and. Oh, insulation. so the insulation it's all built right in. There. Correct. In between. Yeah. 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 So we is it saying, aluminum or no it's steel it's steel okay yeah, yeah. steel and you can see it's all you can see the sprinkler lines of overhead underneath the mezzanine everything is all sprinklers that's, that's the radiant heat tubes that are correct. correct yeah the one the ones these vertical thing or the ones the length run lengthwise there the, the black things those are that's radiant heat so they just have radiant in the ceiling nothing in the floor this no. does not have in the floor correct not in the garage yeah. you're right that's just the maintenance we did already. next Get another view of it. Next. Just a picture of the radiant heat and the, the mezzanine. Next. Get another crane. Next. Next. Just a grill of bread there. They got, they got doors at each end to drive through. You come off and you pay out park in the angles. So, Scott, probably a good thing to mention is in the storage. One of the later ones, he said, not they didn't need the crane in there. Scott kind of agreed on that, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I one in that. If there discussing yeah, this, if if you were building this garage with the mezzanine aspect, I would strongly suggest a forklift in your right. price right. of doing business because, like the guy said, wherever that crane can go in that garage, a forklift could go, and right. you could do the same thing with a fork truck. You want to lift something up yeah. inside the building. And it's a lot it, less expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like the skylights above the doors. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Next. That's just the uh, yard storage area, another storage. They're the same garage. They have uh, up against the wall. You can see where they have all the panels, and that's where they said they lost a lot of floor space because where that panel is, there's not supposed to have that three feet away. Three feet away, they're supposed to be clear. Next. Well, that one did come out. Next. There we go. Again, that's this is the this is the maintenance bay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you can see the five ton bridge crane that spans over the whole, whole thing, all the bases. Yeah. Next. Next. Yeah. There's your lubricant. There's a lubricant case, a central lubrication system. They have a few drops of those in this building. I believe it's one at one and one at the other. What's the big reel on the right with the black? I was going to say, I don't know if we talked about that. That's an uh, uh, exhaust uh, extraction system. Yeah. So you can pull that down. Actually, I think it's on a motor. So right. Oh, that, that, yeah, that goes over the exhaust pipes. Yeah. Yes. Other, other like trucks Correct. and stuff. Right. Smaller trucks. Exhaust it out the roof. Next. Just another picture. Next. Yeah. That's the red are uh, drive on ramps to a for the vehicle place. lift. Next, there's, there's one we show the in floor one. Next. There it is. 
That's the 80, 80,000 pound? Yes. 80,000 pound in floor lift. Two of the vehicle, two of the places we went to had this style. One had one that was above the floor. That'll lift up, they said, uh, like a ladder truck, like right. a fire alarm's ladder truck. You could yeah. lift that up, yeah. work on it, no problem. Yeah. The one that recommended, the one that had it above recommended it because the salt eating it away underneath. Yeah. He said, you know, that are being involved. Yeah, we'll show the last one has that. Next. Next. We got a few views of that. Next. That's the outside gas tanks, fuel tank and diesel. Next. That's their salt shed. Um, next. 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 Well, we'll go back to that one. I think I had I got a picture of it someplace that shows it. Back up one. Those bricks, if you want, are big concrete blocks that are placed one on top of another with like a sealer in between them. And they haven't used that salt shed since they put it in because this right side, if you was somehow the water is leaking into and under and getting inside the salt shed when it rains or when the snow melts exactly, we're not sure. And so the snake, the salt would get wet. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, just to say, I wouldn't condemn this type as a result of that. I, that's the first time we've heard of that kind of problem. Actually, yeah. we build a lot of these. That, that's a membrane roof. That's I'm a sure. membrane uh, type of a thing. What's the ramp for loading the truck? Loading, tr loading a salt truck. So the loader can drive up and then oh, be able to dump it. Yeah, dump it next to it. Almost, almost every place we went to had that, one of those. The, the height of the trucks is getting higher for whatever reason. I think frame rail, like like back in the day, and they had a triple frame or whatever. Yeah. Now it's one frame rail, but it's yeah, massive. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Do you think the water could be coming in from underneath, Jim? They said, they said it's coming in underneath from the right side. Yeah, somehow. You can see that. It doesn't seem pitched right. Yeah, they actually added some extra fabric you can see on the side there. Yeah, yeah, and it's still like trying to, but it's still leaking. Going. But it's, sure the thing is somehow going. coming underneath because it's only in the ground about half a block. Half a foot, yeah. Um, you know, okay. so, so it is what it is for them. Okay, next. So this place, you'll see the gravel they'll pass there. They're going to plan on this year blacktop, and they said to make sure you get enough blacktop when you're doing it for storage. It's that much better to store yeah. stuff at least on the blacktop. This is the one place we went to that had all the bells and whistles on a drive-in a drive-through wash. I got some pictures though, but there's these nozzles right here in the front actually spin around a high, high, fairly high pressure. And as they yeah. spin, they spin around like this, like whirly birds, and help wash the trucks. And there's also an undercarriage, and there's also an undercarriage one um, at one end. And of course, they got the drains and everything else. Plus, they have. You can see on the left side that little red thing that's a high pressure washer and there's one on the other side so you can actually high pressure wash by hand as well what are the man what look like manhole covers or holes there on the left side that is the that's the drain system for for okay. the wash bay. it has to go through a series of yeah, settling water separators and yeah. stuff okay, so it's just, think, they're just yeah. catch basins then yeah correct yeah. Okay. Okay. next next that's the, they're, 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 you can see all that's four coming in. That's that's the that's coming back. They're, those are just guys in the floor. They're not even more than a guy, but they're the four high. And the undercarriage high wash comes out. Right, the undercarriage uh, wash is right in front of those guys. Nice. This is a fairly standard setup that we do for most DPWs nowadays. Is it's an automated uh, undercarriage and side wash, and then once you get inside, that shuts off, and then it's a manual high pressure wash. Next. 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 Next to laying it with just with the washer, like a high pressure wash. Next. Next. That's their uh, system for the wash. That's a high pressure pump with the mixtures of soap and everything else in a rinse. What's high pressure, Jimmy? Uh, I don't know what the actual pressure is. I can find out. Um, that pump, I would guess, because of the stages, is probably somewhere around fifteen hundred pounds. Okay, so that's not bad. Yeah, it's not you, well, anything higher part. that's going to cut a hole in the steel. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> he did say the first time they brought an older truck over that undercarriage <laughs> wash, <laughs> it, 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 it took all the rust off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Next. Yes, that's the that's the I think the high volume pump if you would. Yeah. Next. That's the uh, tank for the. I'm not sure what that holds. Yeah, that might be the soap actually. I'm not okay. Not quite remember I mean. Next. That's just a control station. Next. That's a picture of the SDR in the, the, the carriage wash. Next. Yep. That's so. What is that one? That's, that's the, the mezzanine in the garage. Okay. That's the maintenance mezzanine. Yeah. Okay. Next. That's part of the loop system. Loop system, and we're seeing a. Oh, that's for the. the, the that's, 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 the lift. that's a lift. The lift. <laughs> the lift for the look for the uh, with, with the red post we saw before. How big are those lifts? Those are probably eighteen thousand pound or something. I can't recall. It's sort of the standard, you know, heavier duty pick yeah. two two posts. Yeah. Next. That's the inside view of the salt shed. You can see where they're talking about they're not using it much. That's that's dirt or gravel in the back end. That's not sand or salt. And what's the uh, brown stuff at the bottom that looks to me like plywood or something like that? It is. Is yeah. it? Yeah. And that's acceptable for it's it's Where put on on the interior of the of the blocks and it's really intended to be sacrificial actually so it gets bashed up and you replace it okay. every two years or so. Next, here we go. That's a better view of the inside. Next, yeah, there's a close-up view of the blocks, how they put together. Next, next. That's the, that's the side that they're saying where the water's coming in somehow underneath that bottom block. That, that ratchet system on the other side as well to hold the yes, yes. roof. Yeah. Yep. Next. Next. That's the obviously the fuel pumps. Next. Picture of the garage. That's the the uh, stall shed looking back at the back of the garage, yeah. the maintenance space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, that's just the inside of the. Just, and just to say, those fabrics usually are like a fifteen to twenty oh. year warranty. That's a picture of the lighting that's inside. That's what that's for showing. Yeah, there's not a lot of lighting in this one, but it probably is it works well depending what lumen they are. Next, that's just a uh, fuel tank thing. Next. You know, outside of the bay, outside the garage. Next. Next. That's the car one. Yeah, there this one had a big overhang on one side of the building and they put all their plows and you can see what they store. They're really a nice setup. But we don't have that space to do something like this. Next. Next. <clears throat> Next. Back inside. That's the Maintenance bay, I believe. No, that's no, not it's it's really like right. it's really right. Right. Next. Next. Got a washroom where the guys do wash laundry, washer dryer. Next. Locker. Those are wide lockers. So, what, 24s? 24. 24. Yeah. 24. So, there are extra wide lockers for the employees. Next. Next. Shower. Next. Is there just one shower? Uh, in that case, there's, there's usually at least two. I think there's two on the men's side and one on the women's side. Yeah. That's a regular kitchenette, if you would, meeting room, kind of. <laughs> a lunch room, break room, office area, meeting room. Next. Next. Office area. Next. Okay, now we're at Hopkinton. Um, this one. Is a it's built on a real tight spot. There's swaths, yeah. yeah. Wetlands, and, and the nice the thing is, the offices are upstairs. Yeah, the first floor two story. Is yeah. That yeah. was a very you can nice see. Day. They actually had to cut off a corner of the garage because of the wetlands because of the constraints of the site there. Yeah, the uh, mm -hmm. the one this one was kind of you know, it's a lot. It is the biggest one that we had. The other one was, that was in the middle. Was what's appropriate for this one is it was a two story. Of what we were impressed with was the offices are on the first floor, and visitors need to go on the second floor if they want to talk to somebody. 
So offices and uh, I think I mean the the lockers and the lockers and yeah, yeah the lockers are, are on the first floor. Yeah, so right. the lockers and the the the, uh, and the the workers, if you would, not not the office people, but so the workers. The public, they have their upstairs are on the first floor, mm -hmm. and the office is on the second floor. So visitors and stuff go to the second floor because um, it you're just more it efficient a lot cleaner. Yeah. You don't have. Yeah, you guys are messy. <laughs> you don't have you know, people walking through with tar on their feet through the office every day. Yeah. He leaves a trail every time he's in my office. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next. That's the entrance area. That's the, the elevators going upstairs. Offices. I mean, the uh, between that opening that that door and the one on the right. Actually, that door is under the uh, the shop, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I can't recall. And the yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the uh, break room and the. Uh, Right. Uh, locked rooms are on the right hand side. So this by is the all store. secure. No public can go past this point except upstairs right. to a transaction. Yeah. Is that a tiled floor? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Next. That's a picture of the second floor. So we might. Yeah. It is. It's sort of. This is actually beyond the the public area. I don't know if you had a picture of that, but in or maybe you can just barely see it on the left. There's a window. Yeah, there, there was a window there. That was. So you get up and there's a lobby the and there's a upstairs. transaction window. And that's again secured, so you can't actually get into this portion of the okay. Next, we have just a more office area. Next, meeting room. Next, again, another break room for the, is it for the office area. The office, right? office, office area, area. Yes, break room. Yeah. Right. And that look, those windows look out onto the garage, <laughs> garage storage area. Storage. Yeah. Next. That was the first. That was so that's the, the that's on the employees. first floor again. That's the first floor. floor. Okay, that's yeah. that, the training muster room. Somewhere okay. we saw them all very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Next. How many employees does a town like this have for DPW? Don't. It should have been taken notes. Oh. We, we asked those. We I asked those questions, but we didn't write them down. I can I can get some of these statistics. Um. Well, I, I'm, I'm curious because I see. Two huge refrigerators there, so I'm just wondering yeah, yeah. how they compare to us. I think they have over 30 people working. I that. think that's true. Yeah. And how many do we have? It would be working out of here. 14. Oh no, so it'd be 17. Yeah, with the office. Yeah. Next. And yeah, they got a washer dryer. Next. It's one of the shop spaces. Shop, shop areas. Shop areas. Yep. Next. And you'll see, I don't know if you can tell in the plan, but uh, because of the tight site and the configuration, you know, we have there's two shop spaces, one of which has an outside door, the other one has an overhead door into the vehicle garage. The way of you know, being efficient, but it's still like not an ideal over to the door access. It's not great, but it was best best to be done in this condition. So we went through the car watch basically we're gonna go through the storage. Yeah. Open. Police off the police cruiser yeah. or whatever was going through there. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that, that's a mezzanine area going up to the second floor to the office area. Not storage. Next. Highway shop. Okay. Next. Water sewer. Next. That's just the you know, maintenance area. And that's the doorway that goes out from the maintenance area, right? One of the areas into the actual storage area. Access with a truck or something right. to bring something over there. Next. And yeah, that's the storage area. There's the mezzanine for storage along one wall. I think there's one on the front wall, too, was there? Uh, yes, I think. No, Both that's the one. one. Next. The one. So, one thing, and we're looking at the vehicle storage, though, these are both 20,000. The proposed is only 12. So, you see a big, it's big difference. Yeah. Next. Well, I see, I see a lot of. I see a lot of open space looking at these pictures. Now. These guys are all working. Was gone. These guys <laughs> are all working. Every vehicle's out. Yeah. 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 Right. Next. Okay. Yeah, okay. those are good pictures of mezzanine with a vehicle. Next. This is maintenance. Maintenance area. Same thing with the exhaust and the central loop systems. They did all places that had the central loop system, and they all loved it, as opposed oh. to the cars. Next, so, you know, the same word. Same. There's the we can get picture that, but there's a, the end floor, um, eighty thousand pound lift. Next, overhead crane. 
This place didn't have the issue with the overhead crane, right? These, no. guys, were, these guys were willing to use it. Yeah. They did now that we mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know they needed a license. <laughs> Next. Uh -huh. Five ten crane. Next. Yeah, there's the lift. The, I will say the one good thing about these, they do collect dirt, but the one good thing about in the ground is it, you you can pull anything in there. You, you don't have to lift it. You still right. got floor space you can use. Right. When you get yeah. to the last one, it's all raised up. So you, I mean, unless you drive up on there, you still got to clean around it. And everything. Right. Yeah. Next. That's not so good. Are those things set up so that you can get lifted up and get in there and clean it relatively easily? Yes. Yeah, I believe so. Next. There's a third type which we didn't see, which are which is an in-ground piston lift, which are basically next. That's old fashioned. Two or three. Well, no, they're they're the they new get, ones are pretty amazing. They got the ramps on it though too. They have all sorts of uh, traction. They also can move in and out, so they can they can uh, you know be are they flush adjusted, on the floor like that? Flush on the floor, okay. but they can move, so they can be adjusted for any size vehicle. What's the lift mechanism on that? It's also a piston, but this the, the type I'm describing is a much is a single. That one there, piston. Randy, is similar to the above ground ones. It's just yeah, it's just like a scissor type. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. 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 Next. There you go. They all every almost every garage has a comment that no matter how many drops you have for the auto loop system, you don't have enough <laughs> because as they change and add. Yeah. More complicated fluids for the for the newer vehicles. Um, they don't have enough hoses. Where's the storage tanks for all the fluids? They have a room for it. A special room. It's special room. Photo. Yeah. Next, well, took picture. I took a picture of one of them. Yeah. I think it's one of those two rooms right there. Yeah, it's in those doors. Next. To the right. That's the good. That's just a the regular lift for like putting under the smaller trucks. Next. There it is. Yes, How about that? Perfect. Ask any <laughs> shall receive. <laughs> hey, you that. see the grate there next to that black drum? I thought that was pretty neat. So there's a containment there. It's a, it's a manhole to nowhere. If you have a leak, it catches everything, and all your containment's right there. You just would. You know, there's alarm suction yeah. systems in there as well. What do they do with all the use oil? The swamp out back. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps nope. the skeeters down. Gary, public meeting. Okay, we just kidding. Yeah, we we didn't ask that question, but I'm assuming it must be some sort of like a safety clean. Yeah, they didn't have it. They, 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 they didn't have a place they to burn it. So if they don't have a burn, I think they'd have a big tank for it. They probably do. I, I, I don't think it was on that because that's all fresh stuff. They don't want. Well, it was on the right hand side. And that's in room. Yeah, there's usually a pump out system that'll get you there, and then they would have to have somebody come and pump it out. And there we go. It's the red one right there. Yeah. So okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that gets pumped from the garage into that tank. Yes. Or do they have to bring it in then? No, that's pour they it? typically there's a pump system, sort of like a pump, couple of pump stations around the in area. The bay, they, they can bring it over and pump out. Next, they've got the big fitting for the suck hose. Okay. Right to the outside doors of the thing. Next. Price storage. Next. Oh, there's, there's nice, nice price storage. Okay. Next. 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 It is a wash bay. Yes. They they have they didn't install the in floor wash, but they have the means of installing it, if you would. They have they they for French, some reason yeah. as a couple most, most people say money. Yeah, it's possible. Um, they didn't put it in, but they have the cuts on the floor. They have all kinds of other stuff, so they can install the wash at some future time. And again, because of the site constraints, this wash bay goes directly into the garage rather than outside. Again. It's not a drive, complete drive through. It's a drive through, but it's a drive through, through, through is drive back through. into the storage garage. Yep. Into the detail shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, next. There's the cuts in the floor for the uh, in for the undercarriage wash. Next. That's just That's out, there's outside tanks, and they also have similar block wall, but they have uh, they're just storing like excuse me various uh, construction 
materials yeah. along the outside. Right. Yeah. The, 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 and the other side of that wall. The other side of the wall is wetlands. Okay, and that's the fuel island. Yes. 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 And that's just one side. One, one side of it again. That's all they have. Constraints. Yeah. It's all okay. Next. Next. There's their self shed. It's like a metal top with wooden sides. Next. I like that one. Yeah. It's a big, it's a higher door. Yeah, it's a higher door. It's a higher self shed. Yeah. Some good storage. Next. Next. Yes, these are all straight, but you can see them. Back truck. What you're seeing in the background there is one of the purge exhaust fans that are triggered by the CONO detectors in, in those garages. This place that next, yeah. Next. This place actually has beds for when the guys are when the people, the employees are working long hours overnight, plowing snow, whatever it may be, they can rest it for a few hours. I just got my <laughs> Uh, this was the only place nice. that, that this, nice. this was the only place. Well, the only place that we saw it. I don't, I don't think any other ones had that. No. Oh, Sorry. really? Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. officially. They may yeah. set up or something. Yeah. Yeah. Next. 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 Office area. Next. Just the salt inside the salt shed. Um, next. Next, the lights on this one they had. There wasn't a lot. Of, you can see they had um, skylights, but there were two lights, one on each side of the top of the door, that just showing shine into the bay. But they did not. I could. I didn't. You can't see any, and I don't see any overhead lights oh, were. to illuminate the inside, which kind of surprised me. But that's what they have. Next. There's still a salt body. Next. Yeah, see, there's there's the light right there by the side of the door. There's one on the other side. But I didn't see any, any of the lights they, inside. There were, there were no of them. Yeah. I, Next. I can't imagine that'd be a big problem. Well, it's when not, you load in the middle of the night. Yeah, you got lights on your machine. You got whatever little lights you've got there. And if, if I guess if you get towards the end of your pile, then you're going to need lights. But if it's full like that. I well, that's for these guys to determine whether, yeah, whether right. the light, lights are needed, not me. Yeah. yeah. Next. That's a big emergency generator. How big are those things? Usually 350 or 400 kV. Oh, good size. Yeah. Next. Well, they run the whole building. So. All right, now we're grafting. Now, the two, the two buildings we just looked at all were on public sewer public water, and I'm not sure if they had natural gas or propane. No. Oh, yeah. um, I would assume that they might have been natural gas because we didn't we see any outside yeah, they were all natural gas. Now, this place has no sewer, no water, no natural gas outside, five 1,000 gallon outside propane tank that we got a picture of. I think it, I think it does have water. Sure. It's a well. It's a well, 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 yeah, well yeah. Yeah. Right. So we'll, as we get into that, we'll, we'll we'll talk some of the issues that they had about that, which will explain some things. Mm. But in a winter, in a cold weather, he's saying he's filling those five one thousand gallon tanks. What every two twice, weeks? He said twice a week. They're there sometimes. I, I, well, whatever it was, he they're burning a huge oh. amount of because it's tank. got the radiant up in the ceiling, and you'll see it in this one. But your exhaust fans are. Parallel with it, right? Yeah. So the minute you this, open that door and the trucks run, it fires those up and all the heat's yeah, getting blown. This right. is this this is the one building that does not have radiant heat in the garage. They have a forced hot air system. And as we get to the thing, well, <laughs> we I, we once we took a good look at it, we can explain why they have some of the problems. Next, this is the one that's most closest in size, right. and it's a two-story office. Um, <clears throat> Closest to what we would want. That's their kitchen break area. Next. 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 Yeah, they had wide lockers. The the uh, the one we just saw, Hopkinton had eighteen inch lockers. These had twenty fours again. Nice and bright. Next. That's their storage area. 
And you can see those are forced hot, it's a forced hot air system as opposed to radiant heat. Next. They have big ceiling fans. You can here. see where the exhaust fan is up there in the left hand corner, right? Even with the heat. So it's all on the same level. So the minute you trigger the, uh, what are those? Those exhaust fans run by CO levels or correct? Yeah. So you can also turn them on manually. Right. Yeah. Similar to the North Fire Station. So, you know, as, as if you're, if the garage is closed and no vehicles are running, it's cozy, easy. But as soon as you open the doors or fire up some vehicles and a CO fan comes off, the air gets basically oh, sucked out. The, the radiant, the radiant tubes are much better because it's heating up yeah. the objects and the floors. And, and as we get into it, we'll, we'll show you another issue where they probably one of the other big issues they have. Um, next, just you know, the wall space. Next, this place has no mezzanines. They didn't want any mezzanines in its first storage area. Um, he says, "Ah, oh, they're just a waste. That we don't need it." But if you've got a lot of MT. He, he did concede that he could maybe build some later, perhaps. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Is that the, the only thing they're used for? Is storage? Yes. And it's yeah. It, it, it's certainly designed for storage. It doesn't. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Next. Next. Okay. Well, next. There, there, again, there's another five-ton crane. That's the maintenance bay. And you know, you know, the electric that's, panels. That's their water storage tank and treatment because it I don't know if they had hard water or some problems with the water. So this whole mezzanine is basically filled up with water treatment. Yeah. yeah. But they also, because of they have an underground well, they have a cistern outside. So they have probably right. have water coming inside. And they're they've got to have a lot of storage area just for the water they use. For different things plus the fire well sprinkler. the cistern is is for the right. fire so right. they have a fire pump as well and it all right. adds up a lot of extra expense but you could see like what they said about panels they're all you know that's all your storage area you can't put anything within your panels yeah Next. did they say why they didn't do go with radiant heat we didn't ask no i, I would presume it was for cost reasons okay. so is get... radiant heat just the initial construction cost so, I, so well there's no, there's two things in the garage there's not radiant tubes above that. I don't know why. Actually, that's I, we would for whatever reason that was done in that project. Typically, mm -hmm. we do the the radiant tube overhead. You do. I don't think there's a big cost difference. In fact, it may be a little less expensive because of the the pretty simple simple uh, machinery. The other option is radiant heat in the floor, like we did at North Hadley Fire Station. We almost always do the radiant heat floor in the in, in the, the garage in the garage right. spaces. But that is supplemental to the heating system for the garage because there's no exhaust. It's not the primary, it's just supplemental. Yeah, correct. Yeah. There's the raised um, 80,000 pound truck ramp next. Right, so that's a surface mount. Yeah. And that, does it raise any higher than that? Or is it? It does. Extended? Yeah. It's just surface mounted rather than. Yeah, that just, you just drive out, but then it picks up the regular height of walking underneath it. Next. And I'm sorry, Grafton was a new build or it was. Yes. Uh, it was a new build. Yeah. yeah. Next. There's got central loom. Next. You know, they, every, every place in the building was forced hot air. Next. You know, five ton crane. Next. 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 This is their wash bay. Um, they didn't like anything. They, they, <laughs> They didn't, they didn't like the auto things. wash. They didn't like the high pressure wash. They, they didn't, didn't like the they, floor they, wash. They didn't like. They just wanted a plain old garden hose. <laughs> he said that works the yep. best. He was telling us how when you use a high pressure wash, the water comes back in your face and on and on and on. <laughs> and well, a high pressure wash uses a lot of water, absolutely. And if you don't have the water supply. You yeah, are, but yeah, you're, that was the reason why they didn't have. You're it. taxing the heck out of your water system, so I can see. Well, they have, they do have the water high pressure. They just don't like using it. Yeah, right. yeah but they, well, yeah, their they high pressure the... wash is just two hose. They don't have the automatic rotating heads, That's right. and they have nothing in the floor to ever put it in. Okay, they would have to do a lot of work to ever put one in the floor. They, he's, I, I took that out of the bid. I don't yeah, want to do that. Like can that adequately clean? 
It's nice well, trucks. It, it's basically they were, do, at Holden, they were explaining when you don't have a truck there, the thing shoots yeah. up to the ceiling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were they were pretty impressed. Yeah, they said it'll shoot yeah. sixteen feet in the air. The high power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. floor wash. Yes. The, the floor. floor. Well, they you were saying two hoses, so I was picturing what they're like doing. a they're like yeah. a pressure washer. Hose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, but they said with okay. the, the in floor one, like he says, when there's no truck, you put it out with no truck or vehicle there, it'll shoot right up to the ceiling. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, know. the biggest deal, Carolyn, is getting the salt and crap from underneath you know, right, the, the right, vehicles. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. the sides is easy. You, that you can do with a garden hose relatively easily, but to get the stuff underneath, the yeah. area will be crawling around on a creeper underneath there. Yeah, yeah. it's like, 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 like washing yeah. a car in, the, in, in the cold weather when you've got all that stuff built into it. Yeah, you can wash the big chunks off, but to really get the salt that's, that's that was my concern. When he was just talking about two hoses, I'm saying how's that going to get under yeah, the Yeah, he's, he's so basically doing part. what we're doing yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next. Oh okay, yeah, next. Yeah, there there shows they've got the lanyards for the for the high pressure walk, but at one end he just got a plain old garden home. Yeah. So that's, that's what he uses. <laughs> yeah. Next. Yeah, there it is. Next. There's their washroom. There's soap and everything. This the warm water wash. Yeah. Next. Next. Oh, well, that silver thing, I believe, is a. Uh, Isn't that a steam like a steam? That's, that's like a high. That's like a. Uh, it is, I believe, a steam or is it just a, a fire for hot water? I think yeah. that's a hot water. Oh, yeah. just yeah. hot water. Yeah. Next. Yeah, I don't think they're. No. Yeah. Next. There's, There's a 5,000 5, gallon, gallon propane tanks. Yeah. Whoa. Next. There's the fuel island. Generator. 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 Next. There's, they got some storage of materials. Yeah, they made their own. Yeah. That's nice. Next. There's their salt shed. There's their salt shed. High door. The same as the last one, right? It's pretty yeah, much wrong. similar to the uh, shingle roof. That yeah. metal. Yeah, it's happily better. Yeah. Inside, yeah. And they've got lights inside of there. Lights inside there. All yeah. the way down through. I Next. like those skylights. Those are very helpful. Next. There, you can see the skylights. There's the LED there. lights. There's a lot too. of lights in there. Next. 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 Here, this is the one. <laughs> Tom can explain the code, no, but don't is, do this, this at home. This is a cold air return. Cold air return by code is supposed to be what? About 18, 18 inches, inches off of the floor? And they were that way, but they wanted the wall space. So they cut all the cold air return. <laughs> they the wall, they're all about eight feet off of the floor. So now the warm air is coming down, and basically and the thermostat is four feet off of the floor. So it, it, but it has nothing to do with the heat. It's because it's mm -hmm. because of, of they're maintaining vehicles with gasoline, and therefore those fumes tend to uh, drop to the floor. So that's why that exhaust is required to get that low, so that's getting those fumes out out of the system. Was that that's oh. not the heat? Heat. It yeah, is yeah, also the heat return, but it is, it is, it is a, there's an exhaust, okay. so it's pulling it's pulling gas fumes out. Oh, okay, but That's also really you're, you're, you're you're kind of short circuiting some of your heating system because you're pulling your return. Similar to the garage with the heat you know, off the ceiling, eight, the eight feet and off of the floor. So between of... the exhaust and the ceiling, these being cut off eight feet from the floor and the forest hot air system, um, there's, there's it wasn't what the architect wanted to see. <laughs> or the building inspector. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't so worry. anyway, I mean, this is just a matter of coordinating properly. So yeah. they're not they didn't they don't we don't have these ducts coming down in places that you need wall space to so make sure they're oh, out yeah, of the yeah. way. But that's it's, Gary's new uh, chainsaw yeah, that I bring. I have one similar. That's to that. a nice one. Yeah. That thing good. I think that that saw one, one, one of the two man chainsaw. Two yeah, it had to be like four feet long. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a handle on the other end. Yeah. Next, on the front end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, the, place to be. Yeah. 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 that's the high paid Didn't job. Take much. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! And as you can see, how you have to drive onto that. Right? So that's another issue. Yeah, there, there's good points and bad points of each. Um, and again, that's going to be. It is when it's up, you can clean underneath it, and there's nothing really in the floor. Yeah. But yeah. but then we have other DPWs that all they want are mobile column lifts. 
ones that you can just move around yeah. and pick anything up with. So it, it really is just personal preference. Yeah, it, 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 it's going to be come well, out space, space to it. What, what it's works space, space preference. Space. I mean, yeah. if you're going to move them around, it's, you got to have a pretty good open shop. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's true. And after a short period of time, it's not very open. <laughs> yeah. Next. <clears throat> That just another like a low vehicle or next storage area next did all of these the input from the employees did they feel like they had enough storage or is that always a problem that's always a problem so it, it's all, no, nobody complained too much because i can remember about really needing more stuff. i mean they could always always could use more but most of them have only been in there for a year or two yeah right I haven't had a chance to accumulate a lot of time. I haven't had a chance to grow bigger. I mean, you agree, it's, it was an eye-opener when it saw it. So this one was 15.4, whereas the design is only 12. So that it should be a minimum of the 15.4. You're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing that the guy here said. Make it bigger. Yeah, Make yeah. it big enough. Yeah. The, the one thing we came away from, from ours is that put the bigger shop in from yeah. the beginning. Was Wait, bigger the one? shop or storage area? No, the store. The, 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 the bigger building, the, 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 the yeah. vehicle storage. Yeah, wasn't this the one that actually has it and went back and they wouldn't, you know, fund it or whatever, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yes. said because the price, bigger. The, the like, price to add the extra space to theirs was insane. Oh, really? That was. Yep. So he's he's saying yeah, what your see it was so it shows up as bid alt number two. Yeah. In the picture, oh, yeah. it's bid alt number two, yeah. and he says, yeah, they should have done it right off. So he, he's saying that you know, put put the put put the extra on. So we should build the six. We should strive for the sixteen from the beginning. Sixteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just the showing a storage area in a fire cabin. Next. Yes. That's the guy that was bringing us around. That's your DBW. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's here. Here. It's working on. It looks like we're gonna get the actually. Is he does he does have long here, Chris Stapleton. <laughs> just the beard. Next. Yeah. Big ass fan. Yeah. Do you Lot design them mostly all with that? Those fans? Yeah. 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 Almost every shop we had had yeah. every shop had they, they work great. They do like the center station. There's one in the north station. Helps in the wintertime too. Yeah. This dry stuff. Yeah. 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 Next. Next. Finish the outside. The outside they don't have a sec second story. No, yeah. no. This was single story. Yeah. Like next. I believe that's about it. That's the uh, fuel tanks. Next. That's awesome. That's it? Okay. Thank you. I got a couple questions. I didn't see a single loading dock in these pictures. The only close mm -hmm. thing that close to have to loading dock is that little bit of a platform or the salt shed. You, but that's just for loading salt trucks. Yeah, right? okay. no, we don't there is no really loading dock. Request for those. Really? Once I in a while. That'd be so yeah. handy. No, and most yeah, of the stuff that gets delivered to us, they'll call ahead to have a set of forks there, yeah, or they've got Tommy Dix. Or, or you know, they do. We do occasionally show those single rail yeah. cranes in some of those shop spaces, so those can act as stuff to pick up. Well, I give you an example. Well, Matusco's empty Matusco trailer there gets everything delivered on track the trailer. We never use a loading dock. We pull the pull pull up pallets all the way from your front with a grabber with the scissors and a chain, yeah. pull it all the way to the back and take it off with a fork truck. Mm. I've been there, they've never they've well, I've been doing it for six years now, and they've never mm. we never use a dock. Everything is pulled back with a fork truck and the scissors. Okay. Yeah, a lot of our stuff, the guys show up with a hand truck on the yeah, and bring it the to the pallet back. jack on the yeah, bring it to the back. Okay. They'll take it off or they'll put it on a hobby okay. gate lower down. Next thing, beautiful shops. I didn't see anybody working on vehicles. They're talking to us. <laughs> well, I, 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 I try not to take pictures of anybody working, so we wouldn't get any, because they, oh. they said take pictures. But were they actually doing something? Oh, yeah. In, in, the, main, in, in the storage area, we didn't see very many true DPW employees, but in every maintenance shop, we saw somebody working. Yeah, yeah Holden, Holden was, we were right out there at the bat. They were working on that chipper. If you look in the picture, he was working on that chipper. That one right there. Uh, and then the, the other shop, though, was noontime. They were they right. were on lunch. Is, one yeah, one yeah. shop they yeah. were eating yeah. on lunch break, but yeah. there was there was activity. In, the, the second in the one where they were using the overhead cranes, the guys were fixing something. 
and uh, they were saying how they they use the crane all the time. Oh, they love they love that overhead crane. They they like had truck tires and all sorts of tires and rims stored in the mezzanine, mm -hmm. and they were actually putting looks like they got a shipment of tires, chained them up to the on that lift, picked them up, opened their door and trap door there, and swung them right in there. It was we saw it in action that we're selecting the maintenance pay. Good. They want a wood truck. Right, right out the window. Do you think they get, they get a new shed? They got to start working, huh? Well, yeah. All the beautiful <laughs> shops. I didn't see anything pulled apart. That's yeah. Okay, I, and then well, if you look too, most of the pictures, that's some really nice equipment. Yeah, yeah I saw that. I was, I was wondering. Well, luckily, so does Town of Hat. Actually, the last one we were at, they had gotten. What did he say? Two or three. With the Volkswagen grants, they call them. When Volkswagen had that problem with the diesels, they yeah. had a Mac out there. They completely yeah, tore it apart. I didn't take a picture of it. Were they, yeah. They, they, were, they're cutting it in pieces to throw it away. They, they got money for a new truck, new diesel truck, but they have to scrap the other diesel. Wow. Dirty diesel. So they literally tore the rear ends apart, drilled yeah. holes in the rear ends, cut the frame into three pieces, really? and pulled the block apart and they, drilled they, holes they in said blocks. They, they so said they scrapped that according to this, this standard. Yeah. They have a specific thing they have to do, and one of them is to basically chop it into unusable pieces yeah. that can never be used yeah. again. Okay. Interesting. Decommissioning. Next thing, Montague has a brand new building. Would love to look at that. Okay, I'm okay. It's up to the crew. So, because yeah. that that is really important, because that will be one of the questions that a resident or a select board would ask. Is so, if you look at the populations for all of these, are all either just under twenty thousand or sixteen thousand? Not that that dictates that a sixteen thousand is going to be any bigger than a, you know, what are we six six thousand? Mm. But I think they're going to want to look. Say, did you look at more comparable sized communities? So. I, well, I would definitely it, suggest it also depends it. on the what's what's running out of a DPW. We have a water yes. plant with most right. of the water yeah. trucks stay there. Yeah. Um, the sewer plant, they have a, their own equipment storage spots too. So I I'd be curious that I mean if you just have to look up how much road mileage they have compared to us. Don't Absolutely. forget, like population wise, sadly it's got the most protected land in the Commonwealth, I believe in uh where they they yeah. don't. So that they might have the same amount of 68 miles of roads just like us, but population-wise, it's a lot different. The other thing with yeah. Grafton, too, was since they don't have sewer there, they have a holding tank, and their town sewer truck, their back truck, has to come up, pump it out, like, once a month or more. Right. And haul it down to the sewer plant wow. and treat it. That's that's what come from drainage from the garage and then also right. from the wash bay. Wash all has to go in that because it's considered contaminated. So, Scott, we're thinking of maybe bringing a board member and you to graph if we went back, or a few of us went back. So, maybe Montague and Grafton would be a that would idea. Help. That might be a good trip. Yeah. I would try to get one more town similar to this. You know, Grafton, Montague. Is there any other community between 6 and 12? Did West Hampton's working on something, aren't they? Well, uh, fire, fire station. Fire. Their, fire station. Their garage isn't that, that old, though, because I was there uh, last year. I don't it, know how big. That's within 10 years, is. probably their highway, right? Yeah. We did uh, the Boylston Highway Garage. They, don't, they have sort of a maintenance area. They sort of used two bays of their of their storage garage as maintenance. They added in later. Yeah, that's like West Hampton is. There's really no great vehicle, like maintenance. Yeah, crops. so it's, it's pretty part small. of the shop. Yeah, so it's, it's not a big great comparison. So that's that's small. just under 5,000. Yeah. Okay. But to, to Carolyn's point, if we could get stuff that's local i think the townspeople can relate to that right. better than say oh yeah you went all the way to boston right yeah long meadow yeah. i guess is, is bigger right yeah but long meadow is like, we decided that would be we would want to even compare it just yeah. 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 yeah that's like yeah. A, the cadillac community right. yeah i hear you would Thanks. you would you concur you guys did long meadow is it a cadillac um you'd be surprised it's really it. this i mean it might look like that because it happens to have brick on the outside of the Admin area, but otherwise it's exactly the same yeah. as all these other ones. I mean, it's but, but it's, 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 it's only because the only reason I say that it's, it's a it's a one meadows person. It is. It's a wealthy community. So it it's is. that's yes. that's the impression. But, that, but they're they are maxed out at their tax rate, so they are not building like they would have built twenty years ago. Well, so I'm curious yeah. just to see. Um, yeah, this was a similar to Holden. They purchased a property that ended up being contaminated. They didn't know about actually. It's a big issue, yeah. but anyway. 
But this that one was bid just bef before several couple of years before COVID finished, just right. sort of in the middle of COVID. So they got uh, also pretty good prices there. Yeah. Oh, no, I think the big takeaway from this kind of trip you guys went on is just to talk to these people and see what works and doesn't work, right. and then actually see the stuff and say, yeah, that that I think we could use that or we couldn't use that. So if it's a ten million square foot building versus well 15 you have may not matter thousand it's it just what's there that well how can we incorporate stuff into this building but, but like, well, the, the gentleman we talked to when i don't know the grafton he was yeah pretty he yeah. was honest. Oh, no, he, he, he was, he was, he was very right down there, like, set in his way yeah, like, he like, was, oh yeah i mean yeah he had, why would you not Put all that in a wash. You did okay. do it, do it right. He, he sounded he, like he, he was set in his ways. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. He was yeah. he, the, the one thing about the guy from Grafton. He was set in his ways, but he was also coming from a townsperson. Like that's extravagant. We don't need that. I no. want a bare bones project that works. You know, he wasn't trying to sugarcoat anything. Yeah. So I'm going to bring up Long Meadow again, only because the project um, was a total of twenty million, but they had a, a, asbestos. And that um yeah, so there was the, a there was a big issue with yeah, so construction so. this is again pre COVID, but it was thirteen million. Sounds like it could be right. How big is it built? Um it's about I wanna say forty thousand, maybe forty five thousand. So it's a little bit bigger than Holden, I think. Oh, so it's bigger than what we mean. Yes, it is. Yeah, but why are we only looking at DPW buildings? How about a commercial construction company? See what their buildings look like. Because we want different areas for shops and stuff like that. Yeah, but a, a big construction company, if there is one, I don't think like there's Warner any. Brothers, I'm thinking um, yeah. half the trucks in Hadley are Baltazar right now. Baltazar. He must have a hell of a shop, right? No. And it's not that big. Most of no. the work's done on the field. A lot of the equipment and stuff is all service. Really? Ba 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 Baltazar shop is probably... If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's puny. Most of us, they, they do, most of their equipment is stored outside. Most yeah. of them, all his equipment's on Route 9 yeah. for three years. Um, and he's got a maintenance shop that's probably, oh boy, half the size of Matusco's. Hmm. The only guys working there are, are the mechanics. Yeah. 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 And I've been to Warner Brothers and all states for their hot works, you know, and yeah. inspection. And it's, uh, they don't have any storage. I mean, all the everything's outside, both of them. Interesting. Yeah. Same with all yeah. states. Yeah. Both yeah. Of them. yeah. Well, all states got a good size maintenance garage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's it. They pull through, work on stuff, and watch. Yeah, them. but everything else. Everything else look, look, at, look at all the iron that's outside yeah. from all states year round. Yep. Yeah. Especially in the winter. I'm surprised, like, all those hot oil, those, those oil, the uh, tar tankers, mm -hmm. they sit outside all yep. winter. So it looks like Grafton has 85 miles of road. So we're we're at sixty eighty or so. Well, close. So we're I don't think had a Route Nine and all that crap. No, uh, well, they were, that was, what, we what, didn't see a lot of it, but it was kind that, of a what, light. Back. What I'm saying is that those are our roads and have the sixty eight right. miles, whatever is town road, chapter ninety roads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not that far off size wise. Of, mm -hmm. I mean, the population that's we're. Finding someone comparable population wise for Hadley is going to be tough because of uh, the preserve land here. Yeah, and it's and as you say, it's not always just population, it's the road miles, right. but it's also how many departments do you have in your right. DW? Because yep. right. some have fewer right. needs than others. That's what will be important in our presentation. Yeah. So yeah. we do have some of that data compiled for the first place we went had a big water treatment area that they yeah, worked right, out right. Right. their trucks, okay. their vehicles, their equipment. The director, though, in, at Holden, when we were talking to him, we were leaving, said that public relations was a huge thing for him to get yeah. this done. Yeah. They actually had a, fir a, a firm doing it, the, their, their public outreach. Briefly, yes. Yeah, towards to, the to end. sort of start off, I think, yeah. actually. But right. they kind of helped set up like Facebook pages yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. like ran with it. But yeah, they had open houses and you know, touch a truck days. That's what we and, need to do, yeah. yeah. And that's what we talked they about, were Michael, on, from the very beginning was yeah, the outreach. Right. And they were on social media quite a bit and did you know stuff with their local cable station and all that. So yeah, they were pretty active. <clears throat> so 
So what's the feeling group you want to go to? I would think we want to go to see Montague. Um, I, 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 I've been in Salt Deerfield's garage. It, it it's a it's a nice garage and it's different setup because it's it's a drive you, garage doors on both ends. It more more of like an open space, but it does have a vehicle maintenance shop and things of that nature. And it's five years old, maybe. I was gonna say it's not that's not, it's not that old. No, because yeah. they, they built the city old uh, pickle shop. Pickle yeah, pickle shop. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's not yeah. old. You're yeah, right. It's not. It's no. not that old. Sorry. I've been in it. It's yeah. nice. So we should it's probably nice incorporate that shop. one too. You can. Do you really think the parent doesn't want that little be helpful? I, no. no. I'm just throwing it out there. No, if you don't want to. It's big time. Oh, yeah. I just think there's an assumption that a community's wealthy oh, isn't always that's because it's had a reputation right. like that for years. Oh, and know, your tax rate's so high because it's maxed. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And they don't, yeah. it's hard for them to get the revenue to know. People aren't going to look at that, Carol. <laughs> what's this cost and they don't care about any yeah. other town randy i agree with you on that you're right all we care about sir i should write that down well, please. <laughs> another good poll yeah, yeah. Oh, it, 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 it's it's time and time again you hear the saying at town meeting everybody's a plain old dirt farmer but as soon as you start mentioning money they suddenly become wall street financial analysts and whether you like, whether you, it's, it's a true, it's a relatively true statement. You start talking serious money, um, people really analyze the stuff. That's the way it should be. Yeah. I'm not, dis I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. I'm absolutely not disagreeing. They don't want to, they want to see their money's worth. Yeah, and we're, when we get to that point, we're going to have to prove that what we're requesting is their money's worth. Absolutely. They're getting value for their dollar. Right. Even yes. though it's a lot of money, yeah. it's it's ultimately worth it. So and I haven't seen anything go down. What do you mean? Price of right now, the building hasn't come down. Right they're not going to be. Yeah. No, you're not. So fact it's going up, right? Like blacktop next year. Yeah. Again, huh? Good too. It was very nice opportunity to do this. I mean, we saw a lot of valuable information. It was definitely not a waste of a day to do this by any no, time. Oh, no, no, you know, no. It was definitely worth our time. It was nice, you know, it was nice to see something that was pretty much similar, but yeah. to hear different people's views of what they wanted, didn't want, and to see yeah. what is available. And, and everybody was... Like I said, all all three of the places, the people that were giving, showing us around, were very honest with what they liked and didn't like. There wasn't any money saying, "Oh, you know," there wasn't any bad mouthing any architect or engineering or any of that stuff. They says, you know, that they, the people that were evidently giving the tours sounded like most of them were had input into the building as it was being designed. Oh, for sure, yeah, because. Um, it wasn't says, oh, they gave us this and they gave us that. We wish we had this. Every almost every one of them to a T says, we did this this way. Yeah. We chose this. Yeah, we, we left this, this off. We wish we, we took had. this out. So you know, it, it was like you said, it was very valuable. They grafted the fuel use was a beauty. Yeah, yeah. Other than the, other than the propane use in that place, everything they all liked their facility. Yeah, you know, they, they were very happy with work, what they had. Even size-wise, none of them says, I wish it was, I mean, they all wish it was a little bit bigger, but none of them says, oh, it was, wish it was like, you know, twice as big or anything. No, no, they, they were, they were, they were good at what they had. Except for Graf, and he said they should have added on this. Yeah, they should have added on because the cost of right. doing it afterwards is, now was Because yeah, they checked into it, like, near the end, I believe is what he said. Yeah, yeah the change order was, was, was like 25% of the cost of the project for a little piece of building. But that's unfortunately when you put a change order through, once you've already got the bid, yeah, that's things are insane. If you can get a bid up front, it's a whole different thing. I like the outside storage they had, that was very nice. 
the shed, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cheap extra storage, truly space. Yeah, it really is. That's cheap extra footage. Yeah, right? under, under undercover or no, except yeah. for the overhang. It's more like right. bar. Yeah, but we don't have room for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have the real estate. Uh, Gary, I, I've been told by guys who plow snow that their trucks last longer if they keep them cold in the winter instead of putting them in heated buildings. Is that true or not? It used to be with the salt, but now you've got the liquid stuff too. So the, they used to say the salt, if you didn't let it warm up, it wouldn't work. But yeah. it's not true anymore. If, if you can wash the salt off, right, then it doesn't matter anything. But yeah, but their point is the reason for the cold is the salt doesn't have a chance to react with steel. Right. Okay, but if it's that, in other words, everything's kept at 20 degrees. Yeah. It's not like it's not rusting, but it's rusting very slowly. Right. Bring it to 50 degrees, whole different story. And it speeds it up, right? Of course, now the warmer winters, yeah. that's kind of out to us. Yeah. But it doesn't get cold wash. and stay cold. But if you can wash it off as soon as you put the stuff on there, like the next day or something, it's... Doesn't that, doesn't that outweigh... Isn't that outweighed by the, the extra maintenance of keeping the vehicle outside of the engine work and the hydraulics? Well, right, yeah. yeah. Everything has to warm up, yeah, right. more fuel. and yeah. yeah. So I'm just wondering if the extra square footage could be unheated, like the canopy. Well, the good thing, the other thing, too, like if, especially if you put the radiant heat in the floor, it, those trucks will dry out from underneath. They're not staying wet all the time. But most of all of these places said that when it's, it's winter time, this that wash bay is going constantly. Yeah. One, yeah, they said one guy spent three months in there. Right, they assign one one staff to it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 They, 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 one, one guy tends to be full time wash person. Right. I I don't know if you saw it in one of the pictures of the wash bay. They had a fifty five gallon blue drum there. It's salt neutralizer part of their system, okay. which is a good integration. Yeah. So it's got the salt neutralizer right there, ready to go. So do they sell that to the public? Oh yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. I've never heard of it. It's not going to help you if you put it on your food wall. <laughs> <laughs> My blood pressure will come way down there. <laughs> One thing you could do a shot in the morning. You know, watch, watch <laughs> things. You need by police, fire, yeah. everybody. It's great. Um, yeah, their council on aging brings their beer yeah. out there. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and that's, that was what the issue they said is you have to have a protocol, you have to limit it because they had a part timer at the door. So who do you let go through? It comes with that kind of too. Yeah. That was nice because you don't see that in a lot of communities. Right. Yeah. I mean, fire apparatus and stuff at the hold-in shop. I believe he said that they let the, them go come in and use the lift and stuff and service trucks and to take advantage of it. So. Grafton, the biggest problem with the fire department using it was the they had to open up the gate and they cried about it because they had to push it open. <laughs> right. Because they, they didn't, have, a, gate. didn't have an automatic right. gate. They say, yeah. oh, they. They, they, were driving, they actually were driving around the, the grass. They were driving around the grass. They planted right. more trees and they went in between those. <laughs> so until they put a security camera one time yeah. when they accused the fire department. Well, we don't do that. Here's a picture. Here's a video. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we do do it. <laughs> That's one thing I did notice, too, that every building had external uh, security cameras on every yeah. corner. Oh, yeah. 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 We're getting there. <laughs> we just need so I mean, like you know, Scott said, it was definitely the, the two out of the three we just built. That a very was worthwhile good. tour. Um, so what's our process now? Are we trying? Do we have to convince town meeting to put a building on a certain parcel and then try to sell the building, or are we trying to sell the whole package? I'm not from, the, sure. from the few people I've talked about, because they, they know what it is on a committee, they I said pretty much we we've decided that the new facility will fit on the existing site. I said it's tight, but it fits. Oh, that's good. We don't have to buy more property. So people seem to be very amenable, if you would, to what we decided to this point. Of course, I haven't mentioned the price to anybody yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get what are you crazy <laughs> um, but that's going to be the next selling point is what the needs are of these people and the price to justify it so, so we can sell it as one package 
property and building. We don't have to. We don't have to sell the meeting. Sell to town meeting. We don't have to sell the lot first and then sell the building. We can do it all as, as one. I would think so. That's my yes. opinion. Yes, you would. So the next step you would be would be doing is you guys need to make a formal recommendation to the select board that you would like to go with this site and to move forward with that. And then that's when I have some more conversations with um, Mike Michael, who's kind of, the, I don't even know his role, JP. What is his, he's kind of the oversight over this, Mike? Uh, is, oh, Mike, yeah, I mean, he's, he's our facilities. Yeah, and um, so there's kind of a process before it gets to town meeting, but the biggest thing is you guys want to be able to come, that you've done your visits, here's what you've seen. I think you do need to do a little bit of a presentation at a select board meeting. So that the public sees that you guys have done due diligence because not everyone's watching these, these meetings and and bring it to the select board and have the select board ask questions because they're going to ask well did you look at this site and, and that's going to be an opportunity that you can just say yes we've done all this um and then we move forward from there as far as bringing it to town meeting as you know getting it, it, your first step is the architect is to go right. up to bid for an architect and that's what my think that you would be doing either in the fall or at annual town meeting is first going for that architect okay okay so um first of all do we want to go on a tour of south Deerfield and, and, and monica say yes okay i would think we would i think that because they're local and we could probably do them in a half a day yeah so that's, gonna, that's gonna help with the the evidence that we've actually right. done homework here so we can do that whatever who would set that up well we can do would you like Deep, you'll do them, do them up all again and throw something. Well, you got to set up with the, you know, their man, DPW guys enough. I, I, I do in South Deerfield. Uh, I, we, the, the people are pretty good though. I think if we call, yeah, they're yeah. Old, old 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 just go. we do have contact at Montague. We didn't do that one, yeah. but we did the study for them, so we do know okay. the, the okay, okay. There, so we could we could reach out. Okay, yeah, I would think the the, the, the poll the DD did worked out well. Yeah, the doodle, what do we call it? Google poll? Yeah. Google poll or yeah, something. We need, to make, we need to set up with the two people first to pick a few days or right. whatever times are good for that. Yeah. And then put throw out some times now so I can tell her and she'll put it in. I mean, what's worth No, time? first we need to see the two, two Montague yeah. and South Deerfield when they're available. Oh, gotcha. And then we, I, mean, I would tonight. suggest that you try the poll first and maybe we come up with two because that, yeah. they're going to say, well, whenever. Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll okay. say, are you available? Oh. I'll bet they'll just my, say, my yeah. biggest my biggest limit up until today was my physical therapy throughout my last session, so I'm done with that. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost available anytime. So it's a, whatever you guys are going to ever set me up for. And somebody yeah. said something about going back to Grafton is for yeah. what purpose? Well, I want to see administrator and board member. We were just thought if it was one to see, but maybe these would be well, efficient enough. If I can see, you know, okay. I I can. Good. I have a good imagination, Tom. Okay. okay. I don't know about Carolyn, but yeah, I it's harder for me to find a day to go. That's almost like impossible. Would it would it be premature to pick one of these buildings that's close, whether it's you know Montague or Grafton, and bring bring the guys there to take a look and just so they can see and if they have any input like uh, you know Jason in the garage or whoever that. Well, they haven't seen these pictures. Yeah, they haven't seen any of this. So for like a little that's a good idea. Of, you know, maybe oh, we could borrow the flash drive. You know, or you could have it and borrow it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, just, just for, just just for in, I think the most important thing first is to have buy-in from your employees. Well, that's why I mean, that's so why I mean yeah. see, see, seeing is believing of absolutely. You know, you, it just well, imagine all that you guys learned. Well, what what you could do is that. you could take the flash drive. And a couple of us could even go someday, take a take an hour or so of your guys' time and give a little presentation of each of the three facilities we saw. This is this, this is this, like we just did here. Yeah. And you know, give them a little dog and pony show. Yep. Get, get their body in. That's a good idea. Right our station. You know? Start there. Lunchtime for an hour and do it. Right. Yeah. You Let me know what pizza. <laughs> no. I, well, just I was just throwing it out there because it like Grafton. It's it not, might be better. It's not like, like it's that far away. Put, right. you yeah. can put your two cents in, like we did here, but have you know Tom or I present it. Right. Right. No, it's yeah. here or there, but just I was just. No, I think it, it would be good to let the guys look. Oh at yeah, this. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Get them lunch. 
Because mm -hmm. we went off and asked the mechanics. We went to, yeah. we all went to different spots and asked the people. Let them ask questions. Opinions, so it's it's nice. this, that, yeah, I think that's a good way to start. Yeah. Just so you don't offend anybody either. That they and nobody held them. back. Yeah. No, I mean, they weren't afraid to pretty honest. say anything even when yeah. you were there. Yeah. Okay. So, tour times, tour dates right. and times. I will take yeah. care of that. Okay. Maybe Wally can go this time. Pick the right day. <laughs> what's 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 that for you? No, today would have been perfect. Oh, that well, tomorrow be. morning was going to be twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll be busy. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna run the sprinkler. Yeah, I saw that you were trying to cover the. Well, that was, is that what you do for the? You can try. <laughs> it's got some nice cold. No, it's not definite. Picking the boxes a definite. No, no, no. It's the weather. It's nothing's definite. For right, the weather. especially in New England. Yeah. So Go ahead. The next meeting, what it would be great is the next meeting after you guys go visit that have an, another meeting. June 7th isn't going to be a great meeting um, to, for the select board, but maybe um, two weeks later. Two weeks later. We're busy months from now. Well, should we have another meeting here before yeah, we go? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, have yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That's what you make, want. Make, you the make, make the vault make the vault make the presentation. Throw me under the bus in front of the select board. <laughs> I, I try to protect that at all costs. I'll be out to you. Select board, I'm sorry. And, so, uh, that would be June, the June 21st meeting, just tentatively. For our next meeting, you're talking. That Joe. No, for the select board. could meet that, like we do now. You, you guys are typically. Oh, and then meet right afterwards. Yeah, select right. board. If you guys want to vote Let's on the, that. If you want to meet on the 21st, so you don't have to meet twice. Um, so seven, meet, on the 24, meet on the 21st, and then we make the presentation yep. right after that. Yep. Okay, so I got to get moving on the presentation. You just, you just did it. Well, you don't want to show those many pictures. You want to pick a few. Yeah. Just a few. Yeah. Yeah. I think they want to know more what you did for due diligence to what, what confidence. Will they well, have to, what well, you guys and, and, and head head them off at the past and say we looked at these sites. These sites were eliminated for these reasons, as opposed to getting the questions yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Show a few pictures, and then I I can work with you and Michael as far as getting a better schedule, like Brandy's question, because that will be the question. What's the next step? Would you want a PowerPoint out of this or not? I, I don't know if you need to. It's you guys got your call. Um, the select board. Yeah. What do you think? Or just a few pictures and I wouldn't and go coffee. too in depth. Yeah, because I'm I'm very curious about all this stuff. I can't imagine that the rest of the people board lose Jane interest. might be. Yeah. yeah. I well yeah, you don't want to you don't you want to the old baffle with brilliance and, and not dazzle. Show them. show them some yeah. and it's always available if they want to look to get on there. Yeah, well that's true. Yeah. Pick a few pictures on a side, yeah. have them ready. And if they want to see more. Okay, we can show you more, this, but I don't think I, I don't think they're going to be interested in a lot no, of pictures, and they're going to be interested in facts yeah. and numbers. I think to Carolyn's point is, did you do your homework, and why did you come up with these? Yeah, these reasons. Would you be presenting the, the current concept as well? I would think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would like. Want us I, 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 yeah, I think. I would, that would like the awesome. current concept to show yeah. one building. Okay. Not an option, right? You know, that, that's right. our goal is to build yeah. right one building. So that's what you guys can decide on. Yeah. You mean the store, the the possible storage yes. expansion? Yes. Yes. So yeah, I I I agree that nothing we should do that cheaper. up front. Yeah. Rather than wait. There's nothing worse than build a time. building and find have people go by. Why is that truck sitting outside? What's that doing out there? Right. Thought you guys build a new building. Oh yeah. That's do you think Montague would mind if we set it up and at a time that they're comfortable to bring some of the employees over, maybe to just that one and then go to something? I can't speak to them. I mean, the fellow at Grafton was certainly sounded like if you yeah. called them up and that, oh, yeah, bring your guys over would be no problem. We'd rather go to Grafton. I, I mean, I'd, I'd want to see the building. I, I haven't seen Montague. I right. wouldn't. I mean, if it's not I, I think that, if we went yeah. and looked and yeah, this yeah, is first. something That's to look idea. at. And, gotcha. You know, see, just but still have that meeting with them. Oh, yeah, the definitely. Yep. Yeah.
Did you want to set something up to have these guys come down and present that to them? I mean, we can do that our, okay. ourselves. Yeah. I mean, it's Jim yeah. has the flash drive, right. so yeah. it's yeah. not a big deal. Uh, you, you're you're pretty available. Okay. You make, make it a new time. I'm, yeah. I'm, I mean, not going to be next couple of days. I'm yeah. gonna, next, no, next yeah. week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm out. But other than that, yeah. Can you just... Yeah, see when this is available because it's a nice. So not day. next Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, so it's going to have to be probably the following week for our tour. Or or earlier in the week. Yeah, Monday or Tuesday be fine. I'll check. Let's use the aspect. I'm talking for the. This, I'm talking presenting with the garage. Not right, the tour. Well, for, for oh, either the tour. Then. Right. Or, you know, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we do it around lunch. I'll come over too as well, yeah. so we yeah. can ask questions yeah. and all. Yeah. <laughs> Well done. Uh, I think we're pretty good. The next meeting is June twenty one. Twenty first. Okay. And after the after that, we'll meet for the we'll present to the select board. And uh, we can help put a presentation together. That's okay. All right. That'd be great. Yeah, we do them all the time. So <laughs> excellent. Well, your agenda all covered, sir? As far as I guess, yep. Yeah, we got our next meeting. We got our next steps. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Third. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.